Hello YouTubers, this is Hammy Technoid, and today we're out in the living room again, and this time I've got my SAE-2 EQ-10. It's a three-band parametric equalizer, and you know how I like equalizers. I like them parametric or self-calibrating like the DBX ones I have. But anyway, this is a three-band, and it has the, the base section, the mid-range section and the highs, okay? And each section has three controls, just like a parametric should. You have your level adjust, you have your frequency adjust, and you have your bandwidth adjust. And you see, what I did is I put little markings on the knobs because without those markings, it's near, not even possible to see where you've got the thing turned to from a distance. You can't see where it's turned to unless you have some kind of reference. And I put little paint markings on it. Don't worry, it's acrylic. It'll wash off with water. But anyway, yeah, this is the EQ-10. Uh, it's from the what they call the Series 2 uh, from the SAE uh, equipment. And there's a Series 1, which they didn't call Series 1. They just called it SAE. And I'm going to post a couple pictures of the different ways they looked. Uh, SAE Series 1 had a certain look, and SAE Series 2 had this more, uh, I don't know, rack mount look or something, a tabletop look. But uh, yeah, SAE is a company that uh, came out of California, I do believe, Scientific America Electronics or something. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cabinet off and get in and squirt the controls because I did detect a little bit of noise as I was tweaking them. Okay, so uh, next uh, next scene you see is going to be with the cabinet off. Okay. Well, here you can see I've got the top off, and it doesn't look like there's much in there at all. Just this just this front panel right here, and then the power supply back there. And you see all this open space in the middle and the back. And they could have shaved three inches off the length of this thing, but I guess they didn't want to just to keep it like the other units in their series. But uh, what I just got done doing is I sprayed some contact cleaner all over the switches and the control pots. And that switch there got some, that pot right there got some, these pots right here got some, the ones up front here, the, one I'm sh the ones I'm showing, those right there, those all got some cleaning fluid shot into them. And I wanted to show you the back here of the uh, the unit, it says Scientific Audio Electronics, Los Angeles, California, USA. This stuff is made in the USA. Okay, so it's good stuff, good quality stuff. Vintage, but quality. And you see on the back, it's got an output level control, and then you've got your line in, line out, and then the tape monitor. So it's a it's a regular standard, uh, you know, equalizer, except that it's parametric, and I like those a lot. So I'm going to button it back up now and play some music through it so you can hear how it sounds and how it affects. Because it, since it's a three band and not stereo, I mean not stereo in the sense that it has left and right separate controls because one control is for both channels. So anyway, let me button her back up and uh, we'll, we'll do some test listening. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through some of the controls and I'm going to turn them and I'll... You sh they're going to be the uh, the level, the frequency, and the bandwidth for each band. So this is the bass, this is the mid range, and this is the treble. So watch watch what I'm doing and listen to the music as it changes.
And that was a quick demo of the SAE2 EQ10. And I ran it through all its controls and you heard pretty much what it could do there. Uh, and uh, uh, to say the least, while the high frequencies were being boosted, my eardrums were taking a beating. Ouch. It was painful in here. But what, uh, what it's doing is recording directly to my DR40, so you're not hearing the room sound. You're hearing the direct feed right out of the equalizer. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. Uh, I had fun doing it. I got to clean my piece of equipment while I did it. So, uh, yeah, until next time, see you later.